On July 17, 1944, a cargo ship loaded with ammunition exploded at Port Chicago, California, destroying two ships and killing 320 men. After the explosion, white officers in charge were given time off while surviving African-American sailors were ordered to clean up the base, remove their dead shipmates' bodies, and restart loading ammunition. Three weeks later, due to uncertainty about the explosion's causes and lack of safety training, 258 African-American sailors refused to board a ferry to load ammunition onto a ship at Naval Ammunition Depot, Mare Island, California. Despite threats of punishment, 50 sailors persist in refusing to return to work and are charged with mutiny. On August 15, 1944, the U.S. Navy convicts 208 sailors in a one-day summary court-martial for disobeying orders. They receive a bad conduct discharge and lose three months' pay. On October 24, 1944, the Navy convicts the remaining 50 sailors, known as the Port Chicago 50 of mutiny, in a general court-martial. They receive a dishonorable discharge, 15 years of hard labor confinement, reduction to rank E1, and total forfeiture of pay. Upon further review, bad conduct discharges from summary court-martial are suspended and pay forfeitures are reduced. Dishonorable discharges from general court-martial are suspended and the confinement period is reduced from 15 years to between 17 and 29 months. In 1946, one defendant from the general court-martial has his conviction overturned by a medical survey board which found him incompetent to stand trial. In 1993, a summary court-martial conviction is set aside for insufficient evidence. In 1999, President Clinton pardons one of the defendants convicted of mutiny. Today, on the 80th anniversary of the Port Chicago explosion, the Department of the Navy exonerates all 256 African-American sailors found guilty during the 1944 Port Chicago court-martial due to legal errors compromising the fairness of their trials. This decision demonstrates that while far from perfect, the Department of the Navy is committed to correcting historical injustices within its purview and ensuring all sailors, Marines, and civilians are treated fairly and equitably. Thank you.